Hello Mazer, welcome to the Pride. I'm Carson Bailey. In this episode, we'll, we'll have a Lonely Puppets video from the drama classes and we'll be announcing the last lecture winner. Finally, time for finals, Mazer. Classes are over. The schedule will be as follows next week. Monday is your Socratic English for Middle, English for middle School final, and you have one day to submit it, so it's due on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday is your Science final, and Wednesday is Math. You have two days for each of those, so Science is due on Thursday, and Math is due on Friday. Graduation is May 28th at the Water Gardens Drive-In. Due to limited space, uh, we really need to restrict how many cars and people are able to attend. So to accommodate all your family and friends that want to watch, um, we'll be streaming the ceremony on YouTube. Um, so bookmark this channel, Mazer Pride, and tune in Thursday the 28th at 8.30 p.m. to attend the ceremony. Now let's go to Gerber uh, for info about yearbooks. I've gotten a lot of questions regarding yearbooks, and the biggest one is easily, when do we get them? And I'm really sorry I have to say that I don't know. Uh, we were originally scheduled to get our yearbooks this coming Thursday, and I've already been notified that that is not going to happen. Now, Printcom is an amazing bunch of people, and they worked their tails off this year, and they managed to meet their deadlines. And because of that, first of all, Printcom, you know I love you, and you know I'm proud of you. And, and also what that means is we should, we should, should have our yearbooks by um, by year-end checkout. If they are here by then, we will distribute your yearbooks as part of your checkout, hand them through your car window, and everything's great. If not, then we will have to distribute them in the summer as soon as they get here. Uh, no matter what, no matter when we distribute them, whether it's in May or whether it's in June, it doesn't matter because we are going to have a yearbook signing party as soon as it is safe to do so. When we get the notice that it is safe to have large gatherings again, we will have a picnic and we will pull out blankets and we will set up tables and we will play loud, obnoxious music and you guys can sign your yearbooks and celebrate together and everyone will be invited and we will make a grand old time of it and that will happen no matter what. So, my simple answer to you is, I don't know when your books are going to come, but I do know that they are beautiful, and I do know that you will love them, and I do know that they are better than ever. So stick with me, and I will keep you posted. There have been some truly creative and unique assignments during the past few months, but I think the drama classes take the cake. The first known use of the word lonely was by William Shakespeare in his play Coriolanus. Though I go alone, like unto a lonely dragon. Some people take very well to social isolation. Society is no comfort to one not sociable. I and my bosom must debate a while, and then I would know other company. I had as lief have been myself alone. I myself am best when least in company. Isolation makes some people angry. All the infections that the sun sucks up from bogs, fens, flats on Prosper fall and make him by inch meal a disease. It makes some people anxious and fearful. All is the fear and nothing is the love. As little is the wisdom, where the flight so runs against all reason. Some feel depressed. But I have that within, which passes show, these but the trappings and the suits of woe. Some people are sad. It's alright to cry, crying 
takes the sad out of you. It's all right to cry. You might feel better. But we... And Shakespeare. And Sondheim. Have good news. No one is alone. We can find new ways of reaching out and cherishing the help we are all fighting for. Somebody. Make me confused. Mock me with praise. Let me be used. Vary my days. But alone is alone, not alive. Somebody crowd me above. Somebody force me to care. Somebody let me come through. We'll always be there, as frightened as you, to help us survive. Being alive. And? It gets better. How poor are they that have not patience? What wound did ever heal but by degrees? Sweet are the uses of adversity, which, like the toad, ugly and venomous, wears yet a precious jewel in his head. And this, our life, exempt from public haunt, finds tongues in trees, books in the running brooks, sermons in stones, and good in everything. Now go we in contempt to liberty and not to banishment. Oh, if life were made of moments, even now and then, a sad one. But if life were only moments, then you never know you have them. The last lecture assembly is the single most significant assembly of the year, even more than the Spirit Bowl. It's a chance for seniors uh, to articulate how we have grown into men and women. I still remember when Porter Larson imparted his words of wisdom on online dating. Uh, we've recorded the top 10 speeches and those will be available on our YouTube channel later today. But let's visit Ms. Frampton to find out who won the competition. This year's last lecture winners are for third place, Claire Felt. Second place, Carson Bailey. And first place, Ammon Hassan. Seniors also had the classical literature essay contest earlier this month. The first place prize is $600. Mr. Simmons has the winner. This is the third year of our Mazer Classical Literature Scholarship that's available only to seniors. Uh, where seniors get a chance to write about a work of literature that has changed who they are. This year, the first place award, which is $600, goes to Ethan Linsky for his essay on the Grapes of Wrath and how it, it helped him understand the world a little bit better. And second place is senior Danny Chesler, who wrote about the Aeneid and how it helped her understand some personal triumphs and tragedies. Congratulations to both of these seniors. Finally, this week's photo challenge is all about your friends. Send us photos of you and your Mazer friends. Dig through those old camera files and celebrate the friendships you've made this year by emailing printcom at mazerprep.org. That's it for today, Mazer. We'll see you next week on the Pride.